guys and welcome back to the Borough Home Bar where I'll be posting a new cocktail video every weekend. This weekend I'm making the lemon meringue pie cocktail and yes it does taste as good as it sounds. Is it dessert? Is it drink? It's both. So let's get started. So we're going to use some limoncello for this dessert. Um, I usually keep mine in the fridge um, but because we're mixing it it doesn't make too much of a difference so if it's in the cupboard that's fine. And we're also going to use some uh, Roku gin um, that I got from a good friend of mine for Christmas that I'm excited to try. Um, next we're going to use some Frangelico liqueur. Now this is a hazelnut liqueur. Um, it works really well in this cocktail but if you didn't have this you could substitute um, amaretto and use that instead um, because that's an almond liqueur. But if you can get your hands on this, this is really best for this cocktail. It's such a cute bottle as well. Um, some fresh lemon juice that I've already squeezed and some lemon curd as well. This is some homemade, um, it's actually eggnog curd that I made at Christmas left over but it tastes more lemony than anything so I'm going to use this. Um, so let's get started. We're going to use our cocktail shaker um, and we're going to pour the drinks into this first of all. So we're going to start with the limoncello and we're going to do um, 40 mils of limoncello. So that's just into the cocktail shaker. Now this is quite a summery drink, it's true, and I'm making this in January and it's very dark and cold and miserable outside. But sometimes I think it's quite nice to make something and transport yourself somewhere else to, you know, pretend you're lying on a beach in sunnier, happier times. So, um, yeah, give that a go, why not? So, that was 40 mils, then we're going to do 20 mils of gin. You can use any gin, any gin that you've got hanging about. So that goes in the shaker. Next is the Frangelico, so we're going to use 20 mils of this as well. And if you haven't tasted this before, it really is worth um, a buy. It's really, really nice. And it, sm it smells it's exactly like hazelnut, so it's lovely. Um, so then we're going to do 50 ml of lemon juice. So this is a very lemony cocktail, obviously, lemon meringue pie. So 50 ml goes in here. And then just a teaspoon of lemon curd. Um, the lemon curd is going to make this drink more of this sort of desserty um, texture cocktail that we're going for. Um, so we're not going to use egg white or anything this time. We're going to use the lemon curd to thicken it just a little bit. So just one teaspoon of that goes in there. Mm. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay. And just before I add the ice, I'm just going to give it a stir and give it a little taste. I do this quite often with cocktails because I'm quite bad for adding more than if I think it's not really tasting right. So I tend to just give it a little taste first of all because I don't want to put the ice in, put it into the glass and then realise that actually it's not as I was expecting. So, mm. no, that's quite good. So that's going to be yummy. Okay, so we're done. So this is the drink in here. Then I have the ice and we're just going to pour that into the shaker. And give it a little shake. And you want a strainer for this as well, actually, I didn't get that out, um, because of the lemon curd, just in case there's any little bits of that floating about. There we go. Now, I'm just going to get out my glass. So it's just a long stemmed, very pretty cook's glass here. Um, so I think that'll look quite nice with the garnish on top as well. So pour this into here. Such a lovely sort of cloudy lemon colour, very nice. Lovely, okay, now comes the fun part. So the garnish for this is gonna be the meringue part of the cocktail. So what I've done is I've already made some meringue, so it's just one egg white and 70 grams of sugar. So just like any meringue, you whisk the egg white until it forms soft peaks. Then you add in the sugar, just a spoonful at a time until um, harder peaks form and then you you get this so I've popped it in a piping bag just so it's easier for me to put on the top of the cocktail but you can just spoon it on basically and I'm just going to kind of plop it on really it doesn't need to be fancy at all it just needs to kind of be enough to go to cover all of the drink this is what I mean so it's a drink and a dessert definitely So it looks a bit of a mess because it kind of was all splodged on the top. But I'm going to use a spoon just to kind of 
to give it little peaks a little bit because we're going to use um, a blowtorch to give the meringue a little bit of extra texture as well. Here we go, that'll do nicely. So I've got a blowtorch here, so very important that you have the blowtorch. If you don't have one, this won't work because this won't be kind of cooked on the top and you can't do it any other way. So just grab one of these. I got this on Amazon for like under £10, so obviously be very careful with it. But you just want to lightly grease the top of the meringue. This is the cool part. This looks really cool. Not too much. I think that'll do. Perfect. How good does that look? And it tastes really good as well. So this is my lemon meringue pie cocktail. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and happy cocktailing. Bye.